micro system. The cost per watt is the least. You need 50 gallons a minute falling from 100 feet, for example. That's enough to justify the expense in the machinery and the piping and the wiring. 100 gallons falling from 100 feet is about 1,100 watts continuous. That'll generate over 2,400 watt hours a day. That's enough for most households. If you've got the full maximum, you're getting over 36,000 watt hours a day. And then, then for sure, you, you're exporting energy at that point. These are very robust machines. This is the generating part of the system. Then it has to go to power conditioning, which is to a battery, a load controller to keep from cooking the battery. As long as things spinning, it's got to go somewhere. It's not like solar power power in that regard. Panels don't care if the power's not going anywhere. These guys care. From here, it goes to the battery, from the battery to an inverter, and then inverter to your house. These cost so little, the electricity costs so little, that the utilities generally will not grid intertie with them. They don't want to lose money. It's about $2,000 for the, uh, the Pelton wheel. It's called the Pelton wheel with the uh, alternator attached. Hydro's been around a long time. It's over a hundred year old invention. It made sense then, it makes sense now. You don't want to take away water that the fish need too though. In the issue of getting permitting from the state, that, that can be an issue. Most of the good sites in California pretty much been taken, but up in Washington State and British Columbia, down in, in Central America, there's plenty of sites that, that this kind of technology makes a lot of sense and, and is being applied. This is, this is one scale. You, the machines can be made bigger.